All right, the New York Times walking back uh, portions of its report of a new sexual misconduct accusation against Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh, admitting the so-called victim has no recollect recollection of the decades-old incident. Here to react, Fox News contributor and former NYPD officer Dan Bongino. Dan, take it away. Yeah, this, listen, guys, um, very rarely do stories get under my skin and burrow in like a tick. This is a, a cosmic international um, M theory like multiple universes level disgrace to humankind. The new, one, the New York Times, because uh, I got to get, I want to get past the emotions and get some poison. The New York Times is a disgrace. This is not a newspaper anymore, okay? Let's put that to bed. This is not the paper of record. This is the paper of hot garbage. This is a conspiracy theory blog at this point, nothing more. Let me correct something. That was, there's no new accusation. Okay, are we all clear on this? There is no new accusation against Brett Kavanaugh. That should never, ever be. Here's what really happened. A Democrat-connected lawyer who doesn't like Brett Kavanaugh mm -hmm. says he saw something and Brett Kavanaugh may have e exposed himself to a woman in some way. The alleged victim of this has no memory of the incident at all. So let's be clear here. There's no new allegation. This is a total conspiracy theory. Secondly, piling on the Deborah Ramirez story. The Deborah Ramirez story, she says there was a, a witness to this, this guy, Apple, Kenneth Apple, who allegedly mm -hmm. heard about it. When, well, Apple said, well, I heard about it from someone else. And the someone else he says he heard about it from says, I don't have any memory of this incident either. So your new information is what? An eyewitness that wasn't an eyewitness says there was another eyewitness that didn't witness anything. Mm -hmm. And then there's another cr alleged uh, crime or, or, or inappropriate incident from an activist for the Democrat Party. And when they get in touch with the person, says, I have no memory of this incident at all. Listen to me, guys. And, and Katie, this is a dad, okay? I don't know Brett Kavanaugh, but I was a Secret Service agent in the White House mm -hmm. when a lot of people who did know him were there who I've spoken to. Brett Kavanaugh is not only a good man, he is a great man. I, d I can't vouch for him personally, but I can vouch for the people who told me this and know him. What's happening to this guy is a disgrace in this country. It is an embarrassment. This guy has to go to his church and look at his fellow members of his church and his family right. while these reports are being and, written about him Dan, in the paper. This is a disgrace. And I just think it's important for people to understand they wrote the story and then they amended the story, but they stick to the story. And the quote was, the female student declined to be interviewed and friends say she does not recall the episode. Now, this is all part Part of a book. Now we all know uh, newspapers. Oftentimes, will take an excerpt from a book, and they'll say this is a big book, and here's some excerpts. Whether it's Kitty Kelly or Andrew Pollack, who was just on, and the New York Post paid for that. Just, just if you want to take an excerpt from the book, take an excerpt from the book. But instead, you come up with a new story. You say you're breaking news in an opinion column, and then you realize you don't have it included enough in the story, and you're walking it back. Brian, if you're going to take an excerpt from a book, an excerpt you may want to take is the part where the alleged victim says she has no memory of the incident. You may want to include that expert excerpt, okay? Yep. It's like writing a book about a guy going to a bank, hinting that he robbed it, and leaving out the excerpt that he was going to the ATM to take money out. It's kind of an important excerpt yeah. to leave out, is it not? This has to be either there's one of this. Here's one of two explanations. Either the New York Times is full of colossal morons with the IQ of 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 of, of, like, of, of, of a, a rabbit. Or secondly, the New York Times is deliberately trying to smear a good man because they're trying to send a message ahead of some Supreme Court case. They're, listen to me. There's no option C, okay? Those are your two options. That's it. Well, you say journalism is dead, and this is exhibit A on that. Meanwhile.